Hello, everyone. I hope your break was uh, was long enough for you. <laughs> uh, so we carry on with our next uh, big presentation, where we will showcase all of our uh, case studies that we have done around uh, this project. Uh, and for this, uh, first I invite uh, Shmuel and Andras uh, to do uh, an introduction of the uh, pilot action, and then we will switch. Uh, to different countries of the project to present their uh, pilot action. So, uh, Shalten Andra, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I hope that everyone can hear me. Uh, so first of all, uh, an, an gendarmerie, of course, for uh, the Polish attendance. Uh, I am very sad that I am not in Warsaw, actually, although technically it's, uh, it's very well uh, organized. I think that I can I can say on behalf of the whole consortium that we are we really regret that we cannot be at the final conference in Warsaw. Uh, but anyway, we do our best to to present you what we have done till so far. Uh, just very briefly, uh, we are the only cluster in the consortium. Uh, we have been established uh, about 17 years ago. And uh, altogether, we have uh, 36 members right now, and we cover the value chain of the whole packaging sector. Of course, we are. Of course, I would say we are committed to to environment-friendly packaging materials. That's our main uh, focus uh, recently. We have a centralized service, uh, operational software supplementation. And um, as you can see, uh, we can offer uh, a variety of services to our members. We have a silver label uh, on international level. That's about the Omnipak itself. And now I would like to get back to, to, to the main uh, feature of, uh, of the presentation, uh, the pilot action case studies. Actually, uh, when we started the project, of course, we knew what we have to do. But we have to uh, to face a big challenge. So all the pilot actions have to be quite general, of course, because uh, we have to tackle uh, different companies. On the other hand, the solution has to be tailor-made. So we have to uh, face this uh, this challenge uh, from the very beginning, and of course we have to take into consideration that we have to come up with a solution to all of the companies which we which we target. Altogether, we had the three phases of the uh, pilot action uh, process. Altogether, uh, 21 companies in the uh, participating uh, six countries. And uh, this was a kind of uh, basic um, level of the output, which uh, served to fine tune and verify the business support service. And of course, this is a cross sectoral approach as well. The case studies, which uh, we will show you uh, during our uh, presentation, uh, are used in the communication activities after the project as well. And uh, we had to set up, not, not the Omnipop, but the consortium, a handbook on sustainable paper plastics design, which have been translated into uh, seven languages actually, and we should disseminate this among companies and R&D institutions. So about the pilot actions uh, themselves, we started by testing uh, uh, among three companies being uh, project partners. How did we do it? Uh, it was very important, of course, that after the kickoff we had with the, with the company, we had to select uh, the devoted team I mean, in some cases, it was the technical guy, sometimes the, the marketing manager, sometimes the managing director uh, who had been appointed to, to do the uh, pilot actions uh, with us. It was really a, an important issue at the very beginning to, to know to whom we have to speak to and uh, who will provide the information uh, for us. And I think that uh, you can, all of the, consortium partners can, can support this, uh, this idea of mine. So we started with an audit tool uh, where we had the questions about the organizational, technological and economic feasibility of the idea of the project. 
At the beginning, as I told you, we started with three uh, project partners, or PP6, Park Mar is not, not, not a project partner, but it's a, a very important partner of uh, one of our uh, uh, consortium uh, members. We started with Papirol in Slovenia, so I would like to thank uh, Moica and Helena very much to be a kind of uh, testbed for the whole story. And then we went to uh, Ecocortec as a second uh, company. Here you can see some, uh, some pictures uh, from Maribor, also from uh, Croatia, Croatia, the Monastir, and, uh, and at least uh, we are a little bit in Warsaw because these are pictures taken in Warsaw at Pakmar, not so far from the airport actually. So the second round of the pilot action uh, was uh, about testing uh, the business support service among 18 companies altogether in the six countries. Uh, how did we select them? First of all, we, we set up and sent out a call for proposal. So we published this call for proposal and then we had several um, incoming uh, requests, let's say. Uh, pilot actions were mainly carried out by small and medium-sized uh, companies. Uh, although in, in Poland we had a huge, uh, let's say, uh, restaurant uh, chain as well, fast food restaurant chain as well, which you must have heard about. Uh, actually, they, uh, they, uh, they are not a small company. Then we did write reports based on the implemented business support service and several case studies prepared to be published and presented as best practices that we will show you later. These were the uh, case studies for the second round of the pilot actioning. Uh, you see that uh, there is a, how shall I put it, uh, an interesting uh, issue. Uh, and I was really surprised actually <laughs> at the beginning to see that uh, there will be a, a player from uh, Bled Tourism as a Bled Tourist Board from Slovenia. Actually, once we started the, the whole project, um, it was in my mind that we should uh, target the manufacturing companies. But of course, then we realized that uh, it's not at all uh, to, uh, only to choose uh, uh, production companies, since uh, packaging is related to, to tourism as well. So that's why I was really happy to have, uh, for example, a Bled Tourist Board uh, among the participating partners, let's say, uh, even if uh, at the very beginning, uh, as I told you, uh, we were a little bit surprised. But um, our Slovenian consortium partner will tell more about that, that uh, project. Then we had the third pilot action process where we had to test the integrated cross-sectoral cross technology transfer approach. Uh, the companies have been selected uh, from the companies of the second round. So we tried to focus on the, on the best stories, I would say, because these uh, companies were selected as a case, as a case companies. Uh, so we wanted to, to select really the, I would say, the most interesting ones for the public. So you see some, uh, some case studies, but uh, our partners will tell you much more about them. So I just uh, go through the slides and give the floor to Andras, uh, who, who is Managing Director of uh, Ugrin Pop KFT, and uh, he will speak about, about the pilot action in practice uh, at Ugrin Pop KFT. <laughs> Uh, I'm the managing director of Ugrin Park, as George mentioned. So we are a family company uh, since of 1991, and uh, we are uh, producing flexible food packaging materials. Also do extrusion coating and uh, uh, flexo printing. After we uh, converting these materials to pouches, bags, or wraps for, for the fast food sector, uh, this is how uh, I was uh, build up my strategy to to try out how to, we can combine uh, bio-based materials uh, with paper. What is the, the was the plan 
of the, the whole process. Uh, what we was trying to use, uh, for, we did exclusion coating with EcoVio, uh, also with Biotech, and also for a granulate from Agrana, and this, uh, the last two is home compostable. Um, but uh, I was really uh, trying to change about this because when we are changing uh, these biomass materials or compostable materials uh, instead of PE, you do a lot of waste because you have to run through your machine about uh, three or four hundred kilograms of these materials and these are very expensive. So my idea was to use another um, material that is not very really great but it's a luxury or varnish and it's much cheaper to to handle it so at the beginning i was trying all these type of uh, materials but finally i was realized if i am using varnish it's much cheaper and almost the, the same properties so uh, you can see some picture about our plant there are and also extrusion coating line and uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sorry about this technical issue. Yeah, here you can see the, how we did this. There you see the paper, the basic papers in rolls. On the second uh, picture on the top, uh, as we are coating the paper with the varnish. On the third one on the top, as we do the die cutting, so we cut our defense of the paper cup and the, the button, uh, both picture you can see as we are forming paper cups from this uh, paper board. So finally, uh, we test the paper cups and it was almost that good as it was coating with EcoVio or Biotech or Agana, but not that much. Finally, I realized for paper cup it's better to use normal coatings, but for hamburger wraps and sandwich wraps and uh, like french fries bags, it's enough if you are coating with a varnish, what is much cheaper and uh, also fit better for the uh, market. With these uh, varnishes, what I finally found from Sanctumcal or CH polymers, um, I realized this also uh, recyclable with normal paper if it's not uh, so greasy. So it's also good, it's not just for composting, but it's recyclable with normal paper. Finally, we find a dispersion coating solution also for the board for paper cups, but it's totally plastic free as well and not just compostable, but recyclable with normal uh, paper. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope that you had some, some ideas of what we have done. Uh, if not, uh, now I will give the floor to Craig to, to pass the ball uh, to, to the consortium members. Thank you very much, Jonathan and Rush. Uh, so yeah, so this was, this was the first part of, of, of our pilot action presentations. Uh, and right now uh, we move to uh, Slovenia. Uh, and let me just make a presenter from, from Andrea and put on her presentation. <laughs> and um, here we are. So Andrea, ready, ready where you are. Uh, also, if you have any questions concerning those pilot actions, be sure to uh, write them on our chat. And uh, by the end of of, uh, uh, of this set of presentations, we will uh, try to answer all your questions. So, okay, I'm seeing that Andrea has got a slight technical problem here. So, while she tries to uh, she tries to repair it. Uh, Let's move on to uh, to another speaker, um, and looking at looking at here, uh, yeah, that was that was uh, I think supposed to be Gorana, but I think that Millie will do the presentation in in her stead. I just made Millie presenter. Millie, can you hear us? 
Yeah, Millie. Is I can hear you. I can see you. Great. We can we can hear you as well. Mm -hmm. Is everything so, ready? So yeah. I can. So go go ahead with this presentation while we try to troubleshoot what's wrong with uh, Andreas' presentation. Okay. Hi everybody. Good morning, or almost good afternoon. Uh, I will uh, say a few words about RERA's, uh, RERA's activity in uh, this, uh, this session of BioCompact. So, as you know, there, there were two, two kinds of actions. It's pilot actions conducted within World Package 2 by, uh, by RERA and uh, pilot promotion activities. I must say that uh, these these actions uh, we Croatian partners uh, at Cortec and Rera did, uh, did together and uh, it can be separated. These two slides, as you can see, are two, uh, two uh, short, short things about uh, Rera and uh, EcoCortec. And there were four companies which we were testing the business support service in Croatia, that's EcoCortec. This Yafara print, print and uh, we say it be a plan. It's from uh, Split Dalmatia County. So testing of uh, pilot actions were done in uh, Eco Cortec together with uh, Hungarian uh, partners. That was in Beli Manastir in February of uh, uh, last year. You can see here a few few pictures from it and the testing the other the other testing of business support service in croatia uh, was done with uh, with des that is uh, institution for um, employment and professional rehabilitation of uh, from a split uh, split dalmatia county the other set uh, from from the first set was uh, developed uh, audit tool developed by Hungarian partners. I forgot to to tell that the other set of uh, pilot uh, promoting activities uh, was done in December in Yafra Print Solin. That was discussion on involvement in pilot actions during the, the our stakeholder meeting which was held in a chamber of commerce with uh, with this company and uh, the first uh, first uh, testing was done with echo work films which are uh, analyzed using differential scanning calorimetry this uh, this uh, echo work films was uh, developed and created by uh, by echo cortec and the conclusion uh, as you can see at the end of this slide, was that due to the high melting point, EcoWorks film cannot adhere to the paper at the working temperature. At higher temperatures, it adheres to the rolls. So this testing was not was not uh, successful with with Yafra free, with uh, Yafra print and. Uh, the meeting related to the involvement in pilot actions was done with the other company. It was Bio Plan from Trogir. They are producing ecological uh, vegetables. And we were together at the Gast Fair, Gast Fair in uh, Split in February of this year, together with uh, Hungarian partners, Jugend Park, who were, who were also presented, presented in, uh, in Gast Fair. Uh, so EcoCortec redesigned biodegradable bags and it was used by Bioplan company at Gast Fair. Uh, everything was okay, but uh, from, the, from the pragmatic uh, point of view, these bags were not uh, transparent, which was important to the, to the Bioplan company. And they would like to have perforations but uh, for the moment, EcoCortec uh, did not have a machine for that. That that was, let's say, the only the only problem. But uh, the test of this was was really successful. And uh, at the same fair, gas fair in Split, we've done uh, 
some kind of national uh, target event it, event with the panel discussion tourism future tourism without plastic we were all panelists and uh, ivana from eco cortec uh, chemical faculty from split and uh, gorana and uh, myself from uh, from rera and that was our first national targeted event event and the second we will have in uh, two days online and that would be shortly what what uh, we have done in this period thank you very much okay thank you thank you Mili. thank you very much for your presentation uh thank i see that andrea still has got some some problems we are trying to troubleshoot it so we will move forward and right now uh, uh, right now i will actually uh switch places with my colleague chris uh, who will present uh, what happened with pilot actions in Poland? Just let me quickly find the presentation and um, yeah, it's here. And um, uh, yeah, Chris, take it away. <laughs> we just switch place for now. Hello everyone, my name is Krzysztof Wójcik. Uh, I work at Sobro, uh, uh, which is a, a Polish partner in the, in the Biocompact project. Uh, I would like to uh, welcome all the participants, especially all the project partners uh, that couldn't be here today in Warsaw. Uh, nevertheless, here, are, here is the presentation about the uh, pilot actions in Poland. Uh, as was mentioned before by our uh, Hungarian colleagues, uh, the first round was uh, in, the, in the Polish company Pakmar, which is in Warsaw. Uh, I would I will not go into details because it was um, already discussed. However, I will say that uh, of course we had three uh, rounds of pilot actions in Poland. Uh, the second uh, the second round involved three companies that uh, we have chosen among the companies that sent their uh, requests to to take part in this uh, in this project. And we have uh, chosen these companies for various reasons. Uh, first of all, we thought that it would be nice to uh, have companies for um, different backgrounds uh, and different sizes uh, and also different uh, geographical uh, regions um, to uh, find out whether there will be any uh, differences depending on uh, the uh, geog geographical um, differences of this of this uh, of these companies so we have uh, pdo which is a company uh, that is located uh, near to poznań we have postdoc from krakow and we have mcdonald's uh, which i'm sure i do not have uh, i don't have to introduce uh, but uh, as a as a as a as a polish um uh, chapter of the of the mcdonald worldwide uh, uh, company uh, they are located in warsaw and there was the, the in warsaw we meet with them uh, and for the final round of pilot actions uh, we had to choose uh, between uh, one of the three from the second round and we decided uh, on polsdop which we thought uh, had the best uh, it was was the best for uh, for for uh, our cooperation and uh, showed the the the, the best uh, qualities in uh, in developing uh, in terms of bio bio uh, biopolymers and biocomposites um, of course the results uh, of the pilot actions will be uh, included in the handbook where all the uh, examples will, will, will be uh, printed and uh, published for for the uh, for you to to um, read and maybe learn something new. Um, yes, so it was mentioned before the first pilot action was was in Pakmar in Warsaw. Um, here are some photos from um, and the suggestion was. Uh, that uh, they should replace their P uh, with EcoBio, which was uh, which is a product that was mentioned uh, today before 
on the bus presentation, uh, and also suitable dispersion locker, uh, which is uh, cheaper, uh, and on the other hand has the same barrier water and barrier properties. Um, the next pilot action and the first one from the second round uh, took place at the autumn of last year. Uh, the company, as I said, is uh, located uh, near to Poznan. Uh, it was founded in 1997. It is a medium-sized company. Uh, the key products uh, are food packaging, uh, which includes uh, packaging for frozen foods, as well as cosmetic packaging, uh, labels for bottles, uh, household packaging for, for example, detergents, and so on, and uh, also packaging for electronic uh, accessories. Uh, the key materials that they incorporate are uh, uh, mostly mm, plastics, mm, but also uh, compositions of paper and plastic, and also inks. Mm. Yeah, the second um, pilot action at the second round was uh, with McDonald's, which is um, uh, obviously the, the largest chain restaurant in the world. Um, it was interesting for us to, uh, to get the insight from McDonald's because uh, it is um, kind of different perspective because it is not a producer of, of packaging, but more of an end, end, end user. So um, their um, perspective was something that was um, really valuable for the project. Um, Yes, and during the interview with with, with McDonald, we uh, we learned that actually they have a, a hierarchy for sustainability, uh, which is uh, as follows. And uh, the, the the most important issue for them uh, is reducing the volume of packaging where, where it is uh, uh, applicable. Mm, on the second pl place, the, there is uh, reducing the packaging weight. Uh, on the third place, it's uh, incorporating paper as the main material, uh, and only on the fourth place, uh, it is the usage of biomaterials and biocomposites. Um, uh, so um, we we decided that um, McDonald's is uh, a company that <laughs> has um, so many. Uh, Different things going on, uh, including uh, the, um, the, eco the eco ecologic, ec ecologically, that we um, we have chosen a different company for the for our final action, uh, fi final round of pilot actions, and we we've decided to go with um, Postdoc, which I said in our opinion uh, seemed the the best company for um, for our cooperation. The company is set in Krakow. Uh, it was founded in 1990. It's a medium-sized company. Uh, they are mostly um, dealing with uh, flexographic overprints on paper-based and foil surf surfaces. Uh, also, uh, overprints in flexo technology, uh, low migration uh, inks and solvent inks, and key materials being virgin paper, coated paper, and plastics. Uh, during uh, the, um, our cooperation with this company, we uh, performed several tests. Uh, we started with recyclability tests of uh, of the uh, one of the one of the products uh, that that uh, the company was um, using before the pilot action, which was the paper coated with PE, uh, with the addition of Evoch um, and also some glue and some print. Uh, and we uh, in Sabro uh, done several uh, tests of recyclability. And uh, during these tests of this older kind of, of packaging, the uh, average amount of fibers that were recycled uh, from the from the, the coated paper was at level about seventy percent. Uh, and at this stage um, during, the help recommendation from our uh, Hungarian colleagues, we um, uh, we recommended to switch from PE to Ecovio, 
and uh, I will show I will tell you about the uh, results in a minute. Uh, yeah, so we were testing the material adequacy uh, following the properties such as water resistance, sealability, as I said, re recyclability, and also compostability. Um, Yeah. So during the um, the testing of the of the materials, um, uh, the company was seeking for a bioplastic material for tea envelopes uh, that that could be uh, printed and still would be biodegradable. And uh, the pot the potential alternatives uh, were con well considered were uh, ecovio dispersion barrier, biotech material, uh, and other uh, materials. Um, and during the further testings. Uh, the uh, chosen coating was the Sunstar uh, DFC coating, uh, which seems to be the most suitable for this application. Uh, it is an aqueous coating, uh, which is intended for application to paper uh, and all uh, different kinds of uh, packaging made of cellulose. Uh, the coating imp improves the, the moist moisture barrier of the packaging as well as uh, resistance to grease. Uh, it is uh, more um, ecologically uh, friendly than polyethylene. Uh, it is also um, suitable for uh, food packaging. Uh, the, first, the first tests were performed manually uh, in order to ensure the uh, adequacy of the different types of materials. Uh, the um, the so-called procedure, procedure uh, of stick was applied uh, by a flexo printing technology, uh, but of course this type of testing only allows to achieve uh, representative and results uh, in a relatively um, cost-effective way. Mm, the the next test was compostability, so uh, we at Sobra performed the. The compostability testing of uh, coated paper produced by Polsdorf, and uh, the the results were were good. Uh, the the um, the material has uh, has been uh, has has biodegraded within uh, the ninety days, which is the uh, the, the time span uh, suggested in the norm. So so yeah, the the results were positive. Uh, Later on, we have um, we have uh, retake the uh, recyclability tests, but but with with uh, the newer kind of packaging that was changed after our recommendation. Um, here are the the norms and standards standards that we that were incorporated uh, for this uh, for these tests. And um, as I said before, there was. Uh, about 70% of uh, of uh, fibers recovered um, after after uh, changing the the uh, coating. The um, the recyclability level uh, was 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 much higher, and it was between 83 to 85%. Uh, this is this is the um, the company and the crew at Krakow in Polsdorf. Um this is this is uh, all from me from the Polish perspective. Uh, thank thank you for your um, attendance. And if you any if you have any questions, please uh, write it in a, in a chat chat uh, board, and we will uh, try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you very much. And I'm back. Thank you, Chris. Um, I think we are still trying to solve the problems with uh, with Andrea. So uh, in the meantime, uh, I would like to invite Ida, who will tell us about the situation in um, in Slovakia. So, Aida, you are a presenter right now, and um, and here's a presentation. I hope everything will work for you. Hi, Aida. We can see you. Hi. Hi. Great. Okay. 
Can, uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear perfectly. Thank you. So, the floor is yours. Carry on. Thank you. Uh, I have here. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, good afternoon, dear all. Thank you very much for introduction and uh, for whole organization of this uh, conference uh, and. Um, uh, please, uh, please let me tell you something about pilot action in Slovakia. Um, my name is Ida Vaškova. I'm employee of Slovak Technical University in Bratislava, uh, Department of Plastics, Rubber and Fibers. And um, um, for pilot action um, in Slovakia, um, there were addressed three partners. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, uh, that represented um, small and medium enterprises, uh, large company, and uh, also research company uh, with the production of innovative products. Um, uh, these participants welcomed uh, this activity and uh, confirmed that uh, this activity will be useful in their professional future. So, sorry. Uh, the first of partners was uh, company Hemosuit Folie. Um, it's uh, the biggest company of the Hemosfit group companies. Um, this company uh, is producing uh, or its business involves the production, converting and sales of packaging materials. Um, it belongs to uh, biggest um, producers of flexible, flexible packaging films uh, in Central Europe. Uh, almost 50% of total production uh, consists of uh, packaging materials um, and uh, uh, most of them for uh, a lot of them for uh, food products. Um, these uh, flexible packaging film, films are demanded by local and also uh, by foreign uh, customers. Um, among them are big multinational producers of confectionery biscuits and, for example, chips, Ikean products from many countries, from Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland, uh, Germany, Benelux, Ukraine, Russia, and other European states. Um, uh, company um, Chemosuit Foils uh, is cooperating with uh, Stuba on industrial uh, tests um, in the production of biodegradable films. Uh, prototypes of these films, um, of these biodegradable films, are produced by uh, Panara company uh, and are suitable for use in multi-component packaging materials um, in combination with paper uh, connected by lamination or adhesive lamination. Uh, production specialties of this company. Uh, so the um, manufacture of packaging film in this company is very complex, but uh, still um, don't contain uh, bioplastics. Uh, nowadays, it includes uh, flexo printing or gravure printing uh, with following operations uh, like adhesive lamination, laminating and cutting. Um, processing of these of films is based on, on uh, low density polyethylene or polypropylene. Uh, from production of Terichem company in Svit, uh, Slovakia. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Hemosuit Falls uh, company provides uh, production, production of 
uh, flexible films. <coughs> Sorry. Manufacture of combined uh, packaging materials, production of blowing packaging films, uh, manufacture of cast co-extruded films, and manufacture of ready-made products like bags, sacks, uh, or carrier bags. Uh, company Hemotrid Foils is trying to take into account the principles of sustainability uh, into the processing program, uh, ethical principles uh, includes uh, ethical and part and partner stakeholder dialogue, uh, fair relations with institutions and organizations, then environmental principles uh, that lead to safe and environmental protection system and uh, emission reduction, way, uh, reduction of waste and landfilling, uh, rece recycling and uh, secondary use of technical waste. Uh, in case of product, uh, it is going to be customer-oriented company uh, with certified quality management uh, and product safety systems. Uh, the sustainability uh, is consistent with the trend of the introduction of biodegradable packaging into the product portfolio um, and production for manufacturers uh, who are producing combined packaging with paper. Uh, so, to my end solution for this company, um, so, uh, the production of biodegradable plastic films is not current, currently established in this company, but uh, based on the cooperation with the Slovak Technical University and Panara Company, <clears throat> uh, where some types of biodegradable intermixtures of plastics are already tested, uh, on industrial lines. Mm, those were films based on polylactic acid and polyhydroxybutyrate, um, <clears throat> respectively uh, PLA, PHB, and starch. Mm, and uh, these industrial tests were successful, so it's very good processable. Mm, uh, these biodegradable films uh, based on granulate uh, production uh, from Panara Company, uh, shown uh, like suitable for use in multi-component uh, packaging materials uh, with pipe paper um, <clears throat> connected by lamination or adhesive lamination. Um, <clears throat> the Research Institute of Wood and Paper. Um, There's a third partner in this pilot action. Uh, showed interest in a future film, films uh, based on these biodegradable materials. Uh, in this sense, the company uh, participates in the pilot action under the Biocompaxi project. Uh, so, second partner for pilot action is uh, pulp, pulp and Paper Research Institute. Uh, was this institute was established uh, with the main target to promote the development of the pulp and paper industry. and uh, is uh, working on technological research and development and industrial applications in this field. Um, also on technical assistance uh, to pulp and paper mills. 
Um, this institution is very well technically equipped and uh, is member of um, of um, many international uh, non-governmental associ associations of the pulp and paper industry. So, uh, what can be very useful in uh, in presenting of the results and in application field of of uh, research results. Um, um, actually, packaging materials based on paper often need finishing uh, for suitable usage. Um, that's why um, sustainability of such combined uh, materials uh, needs biodegradable plastics. Um, um, for sustainability is of course very important that also paper becomes from uh, renewable resources uh, like like the biodegradable materials produced um, by Panara from renewable resources. Um, uh, we can see that worldwide uh, there is a Acute, acute need for a structural uh, transition from a fossil to a low carbon carbon economy. Um, what uh, supports all these efforts? Production specialties um, of this institution. Um, Pulp and Paper Institute um, on, in present uh, biocomposite is not produced by this institute, but institute is working on development of new combined materials based uh, on paper biodegradable plastics. And uh, institute offers uh, the suitable equipment for research and development for example, uni universal uh, paper pilot line with uh, three head boxes and online clay press, semi-operating uh, font and hood, semi-operating super calendar, and so on. So it's very useful for this research. Uh, summary and solution. Um, uh, so, the research strategy uh, for a long-term strategic research uh, in Slovakia uh, leads to high value uh, wood-based technologies and uh, is coordinated by Pulp and Paper Research Institute. And uh, th this institute offers own technologies uh, in field of biologically degradable packaging materials based on lignocellulosic and biologically degradable polymer materials. Um, because the replacement of plastic packaging uh, dangerously accumulated in nature and in world oceans um, by biologically degradable and compostable packaging um, based on paper and biodegradable plastics uh, is the main benefit of the solution. The third partner of Panara Company. Um, so Panara Company was established in 2006 uh, and uh, started with research and development in bioplastics area uh, with the goal to develop biodegradable bio-based blends for several types of plastic processing. Um, strong, strong partnership with Slovak University of Technology. 
brings or bring or brought sorry <laughs> um, um, excellent and unique center uh, called sepoma uh, creation it's center for applied research and uh, of environmentally friendly polymeric materials um, which is technological and technical base for research and development activities connected with new biodegradable and bio-based blends. Uh, so, um, the main goal was uh, to introduce to the worldwide market a new generation of sustainable uh, bioplastic material based on polyhydroxyalkanoids and polylactic acid polymers uh, that could be utilized for production of final plastic products like uh, films for agriculture, packaging materials, 3D printing and many other applications uh, or technologies. Mm. Uh, this material uh, or um, the goal is achievable through the application of newly developed 100% bio-based and biodegradable multi-component material uh, developed by Polymer Institute of the Slovak Academy of Sciences and Slovak University of Technology with collaboration of Panera Company. Uh, this new multi-component material has um, commercial name non-oilen like without crude oil so non-oilen uh, which was um, which has obtained exclusive license for blend production for european area russia singapore china nowadays technical solution is patented also in a region of japan and korea it's advanced material it's very useful for lot of applications. On the picture you can see um, toothbrushes from this material produced um, from this material um, for example and uh, the uniqueness is that it's from renewable resources biodegradable and uh, it has optimal properties for plastics production utilization. Uh, it meets the uh, strictest ecological criteria, uh, excellent utility quality, and it is capable to biodegrade in industrial compost, in electric compost bin, in domestic compost and in soil uh, without the formation of microplastics. Um, the appropriate composition can regulate the properties of the finished products and wide range for various applications in, in a wi wide range of various applications. This material is processable, processable uh, by um, extrusion, film blowing, thermoforming, uh, chill technology, injection molding, and also 3D printing. So it is very, really very perspective. And uh, is the only one uh, bioplastic in the market uh, that does, uh, which does not contain a synthetic polymer made, made of crude oil and uh, is sufficiently uh, tenacious, 100% uh, biodegradable, um, and its characteristics are like are, are similar to conventional plastics, such as polyethylene, polypropylene, polyesters, and <clears throat> is long-term stable uh, during storage and use. Uh, it degrades only in biologically active environment. Moreover, 
uh, degradation products do not cause a uh, greenhouse effect uh, because of origin from renewable resources. Okay, as I said, uh, the raw material, raw material uh, base is formed by polymers of polylactic acid and polyhydroxybutyrate and other ingredients. So this was non-oilen of first generation um, that is protected by patent in many countries. And um, in order to improve degradation or biodegradability uh, of this material, um, to make it more fast, um, was added to this material uh, thermoplastic starch and uh, was created second generation generation of this material that is capable to biodegrade not only in industrial uh, compost but also in home compost or in soil. Okay, so the main aim of uh, Panara and Slovak University of Technology uh, center center in Sepoma is to uh, replace as much as possible the maximum amount of single-used plastic packaging by biodegradable non-oiland based materials um, with also, also with benefits of reuse because products from this material um, can be reusable and uh, recyclable, even recyclable. And biodegradable. And uh, uh, we gradually want to expand the application areas of non oil land for technical applications, automotive industry, uh, medicine, for example, for tissue engineering, um, gastronomy, 3D printing, and um, so on. Uh, another objective uh, are innovations in packaging. Uh, to make products based on paper and biodegradable plastics, uh, particularly for food packaging, um, able of composting, uh, because packaging from food um, is very often not possible to recycle uh, because of contamination with food. Um, the development continues uh, to move forward um, to creation of a whole system that can ensure that waste from these uh, plastics is truly evaluated in the most correct way by degradation, uh, by recyclation and degradation and uh, appropriate usage of compost, even of compost, uh, to bring back to the nation to the nature, sorry, uh, what we used as a resource. Mm, so, at the end, um, conclusions of this action. Um, for the next step and development, uh, we decided to nominate to the company Panara which is developing uh, plastic blends based on renewable resources uh, for films and co-extrusion. Uh, it is expected that company Panara will start uh, production this year. Uh, the other two companies evaluated in the pilot action uh, will use biodegradable blends uh, from this production for composite, um, preparation with paper for packaging. Um, Hemosuit Folie company is prepared to start with production of biodegradable films for packaging producers and Pulp and Paper Research Institute uh, will develop new composite materials um, um, based on paper, biodegradable plastics uh, for innovation in the field of packaging in cooperation with packaging companies. And the result is also that the main partners in the pilot action of the project want to cooperate with Panara, uh, taking new 
uh, blends uh, non-oil land to their portfolio uh, for in the future. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a great day. Uh, thank you very much, Aida, for this uh, extensive snapshot of how uh, pilot actions looked in uh, uh, in Slovakia. And right now uh, we move to uh, Andrea. I hope we uh, uh, we got rid of our technical problems. Let's see if Andrea is here. Andrea is here. I can see her. Yeah, <laughs> great. Uh, and right now I invite her to present what's been happening in uh, Slovenia. And here's the presentation. Hey, I'm so can you hear to hear We can hear you, great. Um, at first, I was a little bit nervous because of my presentation, but then everything went wrong, so <laughs> I'm a little bit more relaxed now. Um, I will Today, I will introduce you the Slovenian pilot actions that we carried out in the project Biocompox C. In Slovenia, we carried out two pilot actions, first with company Papirol, and in the, in the second, we merged together four different companies, Tourism Blit, Infrastructura Blit, Thermopol, and Dodopec. Let me introduce you our first pilot action that we carried out with company Papirol. Papirol has joined the BioCompact CE project with the intention of starting a pilot production of paper bags combined with a transparent window made of biodegradable plastic. The challenges were among other things to acquire raw material such as biodegradable foil and suitable adhesives, as well as promotion on the domestic market. The company has produced a combined bag of paper and foil suitable for industrial composting and for home compost. The problem with the biodegradable combined bag is high final price. In addition to the high price, the separation of this type of packaging and consequently actual recycling of it is currently still problematic. So let's go to the second pilot action carried out in Slovenia. We found four companies which are completely different from each other in terms of activity but we have detached the connection between all of them, which connects them and strives for the same goal in our second pilot action. Main story of our second pilot action is City Blade, the largest tourist destination in Slovenia. Blade is striving to transform into an environmentally friendly green destination. Part of this effort is the use of sustainable packaging for specific local products represented under the common brand Blade Local Selection. The development of packaging is at the heart of establishing a value chain and a wider regional impact. This pilot action brings together Tourism Blade, which provides lo local producers of consumer products under the single brand Blade Local Selection, startup company Dodopack, which develops packaging and innovates in the field of packaging, Thermopol, which also produces plastic packaging and wants to replace plastic packaging with the production of biocomposite laminated paper, and on the end, Infrastructura Blit, a municipal service that takes care of municipal waste in the area of the municipality Blit. The pilot action made for Blit Local Selection brand will in the future have an opportunity to be extended to other local brands in the Julian Alps, whose municipalities are partners of the UNESCO MAP Julian Alps Development Plan. Pilot action was divided into four phases. Phase one, identifying specific groups of packaging products. See what we have and if we have something to solve. Phase two, overall packaging concept. Phase three, gradual prototyping for a specific purpose type of packaging. So there we go from concept to prototype and to final result. And in phase four, gradual production and implementation. 
So let's go to phase one, where we identify specific groups of packaging products. Bleed Local Selection brand is created according to the guidelines of already existing local brand Buchinsko from Bochin. We research the range of all products and their packaging, which are represented under the local brand Buchinsko from, from Bochin, and did exactly the same thing for the brand Bleed Local Selection. Here you can see most of the products of Buchinsko from Bochin brand with their packaging. And here, this table shows all the packaging material that Buchinsko from Bochin brand uses. Then we proceed to analyze the products and their packaging that already exist under the brand Bleed Local Selection. All products and their packagings were classified according to the type of products, like food products, gastronomic offer, arts and crafts, gift packagings and packagings that, packaging that is used in a gift shop. We divided food products into products that need dry storage and those who need to be refrigerated. For each product, we defined the packaging material, label and printing. So in the following steps, we prepared a list of recommendations for all packaging material used. As in the previous slide, we divided the products, divided the packaging materials and defined the compensation for each one of them. All identified replacement materials can be either recycled or reused. Composite materials are recommended where they contribute to the sustainability and functionality of the packaging. Where possible, it's best to use recyclable monomaterials. So here you can see there's quite a lot of materials that were um, analyzed. Um, our all recommendations are as following. Labels should be compostable. Um, it's, it would be really good to use biodegradable in, ink if it's possible. To use smaller print surfaces, which means lower consumption of ink and to avoid unnecessary use of glue with appropriate structural design of the packaging. So now we move to the phase two, overall packaging concept. The Blade Local Selection brand already has de developed a corporate identity, a story and visual guidelines. Proposal from our side is to design all the packaging in a way that it can be recognized from the shape itself. Using a specific shape of the packaging that will represent all local brands will be formed in the area of Julian Alps. Phase three follows. Gradual prototyping for a specific purpose type of packaging. The selected shape was applied to a gift bag and the packaging for cream cake. And cream cake is very um, well known in bleed area. Um, here you can see the existing bag. It's made of laminated paper and nylon string. Such a solution is in practice mostly non-recyclable. Um, here are a few give back suggestions. We also played with the idea of the possibility to combine two monomaterials that can be easily separated from each other and recycled. We decided to use only one material, which is paper. Here are the first handmade prototypes. Here are the first prototypes made on a plotter. And here is a prototype, a handmade prototype of the selected solution. Here are final die lines with graphics. We decided to use only a small printed surface. And here is the final gift bag. Quantity of 70 pieces was ordered for a Blade Local Selection event. Bags, as you see on the picture, were digitally printed, cut it with a plotter and folded manually. 
And here is the next packaging that we made. That's the packaging for the cream cake. Existing packaging is a plastic container that is recyclable, but recycling itself often, often does not occur as the packaging is contaminated with food scraps. And such munic municipal waste usually ends up either in landfill or in, in cremation. Here are final guidelines with graphic design for the packaging. Uh, we laminated the inside of the packaging with biodegradable plastic. Here is the final flattened prototype of the cake packaging. And here is how it looks when it's assembled. And again, we use the shape, the same shape as we used for the gift packaging. Um, so we move to the phase four. Gradual production and implementation. In consideration that Brit Local Selection is a relatively new brand and the project that is just beginning to establish guidelines based on the existing brand Buhinsko from Bohem. Recommendations such as which materials or their combinations should be replaced and used for packaging local products can make significant change into becoming a more sustainable destination, which thinks on every aspect of their story from the beginning to the end. Before we start to plan the packaging, there are a few questions that need to be answered for choosing appropriate solutions. What is our product? Do we have food, liquid or product to use? Product properties. Is it dry? Is it wet? Do we need to refrigerate it? Um, do we store it in dry space? Purpose of packaging. Is it transport? Is it post? Is it gift? Gift? Is it for a special occasion? What do we want from packaging? Packaging functions, methods, method and ease of use. What is the quantity of packaging? That's how we determine the mode of production. And what is acceptable price? And also we need to take into account graphic design. Size of printing surface, depending on which material we want to use and what we want to communicate. After answering the questions and finding a common starting point of purpose, the next step is to find the most suitable solution for each product itself. A very important part is to properly label and add all certificates that correctly guide the user what to do with the packaging after service. This has to be adapted to each packaging individually. The certifi certification scheme depends on the final packaging, combination of material, lamination and printing. Each packaging should be gradually launched so it can be tested with actual users and allows the possibility for improvements before the final production. And before I say goodbye, I will play a short movie recorded by Euronews about our project. It doesn't work. Yeah, it probably won't. Uh, do you have a link to this to this uh, video? Yeah, on YouTube? Of, course, of course, I will. Pass can you send it on? Can you send it on 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 our chat, and I will put it on, and hopefully yeah, it will work for everyone. I will. We have the functionality to. Yeah. The, the problems never stop. So. Yeah. <laughs> I no, well, luck today. today. Okay, just a second. Yeah, I have it. Did you did you send the link or you? Yeah, here it is. I have sent it. Okay, I'm not seeing it on our chat. Uh huh. I have so many chats here. So. Yeah, just oh yeah. Now now I have it. Great. <laughs> oh, but this is this is not YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, it's YouTube. Uh, it's not YouTube. Okay, so probably won't be able to play it. Let, let me see. 
No. Uh, let me go back. Uh, I will send you YouTube. Mm -hmm. I will try to open it in YouTube. No, 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 no. It's like. <laughs> So it, it, so it won't work. Yeah. Right now you're just playing it on your computer. No, we have. Uh, if it's not on YouTube. Yeah, now it is. Then yeah, let me. Bled in Slovenia is known for its known done well for its cream cake. But compared to some places in Europe, it's also ahead of the top. Okay, we have it here, uh, but we are hearing it uh, double. So if you can just, uh, I would just switch off my, uh, my microphone and camera and same for you, and then we'll be all able to hear it properly. Bled in Slovenia is known for its lake and well for its cream cake. But compared to some places in Central Europe, it's also ahead of the curve for recycling, as many tourist spots in the resort town are prioritizing sustainable packaging. Instead of the classic plastic boxes, the idea now is to use recyclable paper and plastic packaging. These two materials, which can be found combined in many other packagings, are very difficult to recycle when together. But BioCompact CE, a European Union-supported project, has created prototypes of paper and plastic that are biodegradable and compostable. There's a big problem with waste, especially with plastic. And I think it would be a very positive thing from an environmental point of view. If it could be thrown entirely into the compost, so that it can decompose. But that's not the situation currently. Non-recyclable combined plastic and paper packaging accounts for 32.2 million tonnes of waste in the EU. That's according to the most recent figures. The vision calls for a paradigm shift along the whole supply chain, from research to sale. The near 2 million euro biocompark project is supported by the European Cohesion Policy, which has invested most of that money, supported by 10 partners including research and innovation institutes and recycling organisations from six European countries. For example, this Hungarian family business involved in Biocompark CE tests biodegradable paper and plastic packaging. One of the problems with biodegradable plastic is it's very expensive, but combined with paper, the packaging becomes cheaper. Awareness raising is also part of the project. Last year, we convinced some restaurants at the Z Get Festival to join our project and only use compostable plates and cups. We collected the used plates and cups there, and then with our cluster members' machine, we broke it down and prepared to make it compostable. Andras is in regular contract with Andrei Kazan from the National Chemical Institute of Slovenia, who coordinates the whole project. But why is it important to promote awareness of biodegradable packaging in Central Europe? This part of Europe uh, actually has a lot of expertise, technical expertise, uh, also production, uh, but it doesn't use a lot of sustainable products. It's uh, lagging behind the western part of Europe, uh, so we wanted to bring this together to support uh, more use, uh, but also to see it as an economic opportunity to bring this expertise together and to life. This was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, I feel a little bit nostalgic. You, you could see all those people without masks on. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. For <laughs> yeah, but this was this was great. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you very much for this session. If you have any questions for any any of the speakers about any of our pilot actions, uh, uh, be sure to drop it in uh, on our chat. I'm seeing right now we have a question about uh, from Mateusz. Uh, he's asking us to share the link, and you already did. So yeah. great. <laughs> so the link to the YouTube video is. Uh, it's already there. Uh, anything else? If there's anything else, be sure to write. Or you can also write directly to our speakers. Just choose them from, from the list and select uh, private chat 
and then you will be able to get more information. Of course, all of those presentations will be available on uh, our project website and on the Paper Biopack uh, EU platform, which we'll talk more about uh, uh, later tomorrow to be, uh, to be more specific. I'll be the one talking about it. Uh, so uh, it will all be uh, available and uh, also uh, once again I remind you that everything was filmed so uh, uh, the whole um, uh, conference will be available uh, as a YouTube link so you will be able to get back to it uh, whenever you feel like. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm seeing no questions so uh, uh, let's have a break. Let's have a break and uh, let's see each other uh, again at one o'clock when we will have our last presentation for the day. And you might have noticed that uh, throughout this presentation, we were showing the pilot actions of all uh, project partners, except for one, except for Italy. And that's why for uh, that's because for Italy, we have like a special uh, full presentation prepared about what we did with them. Uh, and this one will be done by uh, Graziano Elegir, who's like a leader of uh, Work Package 1 in our uh, project, and also by myself, because we did this uh, pilot action together. So we decided that we will uh, have like a full uh, half an hour slot uh, about this pilot action. Uh, and yeah, this will, this will happen at one o'clock. So uh, enjoy your break and see you in 20 minutes. <laughs>